All right. So thank you so much. This is Africa. Uh, I see KBM. So I was wondering who this is actually, uh, because I don't know who KBM is. Uh, Van Deck MS, thank you so much for joining the stream. Uh, protecting your channel from hackers is essential. Um, it's essential to ensure that your channel remains secure, your content is not compromised, and your viewers' data is protected. Yes, even the big YouTubers will do that, as a matter of fact, but the reality is that you don't get to even know when it happens. So like we are talking about, he has talked about phishing, I already talked about uh, password compromising, and um, he talked about phishing, which is another system for you to compromise your password. But there is another thing that we're gonna be talking about here, and this is also um, one of the reasons that your channel can get hacked, it's called malware. You know, uh, malware on your computers or mobiles can actually uh, track your, have access to your YouTube channel and can infect your device. You quickly, uh, you click on a link in an email or download the software through it and you can get into this. On this particular laptop that I'm doing this live stream, I had a virus that wiped away my videos, about one gigabyte of videos. And uh, at a point, in fact, some keys stopped working. So many things started happening that have never happened with this laptop. I just got the laptop just barely a month ago. And I started wondering what was it? So it's possible some of these things are like that. So you need to put a proper um, antivirus on your system to prevent malwares from your system. Don't say, I want to buy cheap um, antivirus. I had to buy capacity to put on my system so that I know that my system is highly protected. So even the applications used for editing, some of them are free applications. They give you as free applications because they know what they want to get from you. Uh, they could use it to track whatever you install on your phone and could read your phone. So be very careful those applications that you put on your phone. It is one of the reasons. Uh, this is Africa. Um, do you know anything about uh, malware also? Yeah, that was one of the things I was going to bring up. Um, I haven't really talked about this in a while, but um, you can get malware and you can get spyware, and spyware will also um, affect you. Uh, there's there's a particular term for like keyboard strokes, and like I said, I forgot what that term is. But basically, mm -hmm. if you get some malware on your computer and you start typing in, right, and you don't have any uh, um, spyware, basically spyware to help protect you from the malware, um, what's going to happen is somebody's going to read your keystrokes. So when you go to say, say youtube.com, you go to log in to your studio with uh, your username and password. They're going to figure out the username and password from this, this, this software that's basically on your computer, reading everything that you type or everything that you tap on your phone. So yes, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm glad you also brought that up about the apps. Some of these apps, um, you're also given permission. So like, for example, like, Here's StreamYard. StreamYard um, has a lot of power. If, if they were, you know, dubious, they have a lot of power to do things to your particular channel, not necessarily take it over as far as like the whole thing, like what happened to Wotamaya. However, they could have the power to delete videos. OK, so all these different services that um, outside of, of what you're talking about with malware, all these different services that you're you're allowing to say, allow this particular app or whatever to take control of YouTube so you can use their particular um, uh, software So because it has yeah. certain features. don't I would recommend limiting that to a very limit, uh, limited uh, few. Now, we already know that um, StreamYard is trustworthy. They haven't, there's no record of StreamYard uh, messing around with people's channels. But there yeah. are others like, like StreamYard. I'm not saying platforms like StreamYard, but just other things that have access to your channel that you give it to have done things. So therefore I would be very diligent about if you see something with some features that you like and you're given that type of permission, permission over, uh, check to see online to see if there's any uh, articles about them um, having yeah. any issues with people like getting their videos deleted or comments deleted, stuff like that. Uh, as far yeah. again, as far as that malware, um, be very careful. You can get malware through the email. You can get malware from just you liking something that you see online. Uh, from a website, and you can also get malware from ads. Okay, you might have been to some website, and you click on something that says "Go here to read this article," and then pops up an ad, and then that ad says, 
well, you need to clean your computer or your, yeah. your phone. That, that's a scam. Okay. And then you also the apps that you download again on uh, Google play or, or the app store for Apple, not, not, well, Apple's a lot more um, strict on it. You basically have to verify that you're a good, good app provider. Otherwise they won't let you on the app store. Uh, there has been a few that have gotten through, but it's, it's usually they'll start with a good app and then they'll, they'll come out with the bad app later. So, but anyway, what I'm, so I don't, I'm not trying to scare everybody, but um, these keyboard loggers, they can yeah. read your keyboard, everything that you do. So what you want to do on a computer as well as your phone is get some type of uh, spyware app that you pay for or, you know, watch out for the free ones. I would pay for something that's um, credible. And that was what I was going to say, because as a content creator, a lot of us prefer to use free applications. I have been paying for a lot of applications, and uh, sometimes people look at it as uh, being extravagant or something, but I think that has saved me a long way. I'm still upcoming, so um, I don't know how much attack is coming my way, but the reality is whatever you do as a content creator, be able to pay for some certain services. For those that are actually free, uh, if you can avoid them to the best of your ability, avoid them. Because sometimes you don't even know how far you're going to grow. But already you have compromised yourself five years behind. And then in the future, maybe you do not, you're not able to change some certain things. You give in every detail that you actually have. So, be careful uh, how you use free and uh, also um, unpaid facilities just because you are uh, you are trying to save money and you're trying to put out something out there. Because we're going to get to the side where people actually um, do uploads on public websites and also have their uh, channels hacked also. So we have Vandek Amest. He's a... Uh, IT specialist, and I have shared the link, Van Dek, if you're still here in the stream, please click on the link and come up and share with us how and what phishing is, because so many people have asked, what is phishing? If you're still here, you can join. Warren, welcome to the live stream. Thank you so much. So, uh, Josie, are you still in the house? Still busy? Yeah, I'm there. You're, you're busy or you want to you say a word? I'm available. Okay, please go on. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Greetings. Oh, you must have something to say. Yeah, good evening. <laughs> Are you sure I have something to say? You know, yeah. your brother, your brother was hacked. Actually, it was your video who got me notified that this had happened. Um, I didn't know it has even happened like six hours before you posted. So yeah, go on. Um, yeah, a lot of things have been happening. I mean, and me, I'm, I'm not an expert in IT, so I can't really talk much about um, how um, a channel um, has been hacked or what to do or what not to do. But as much as I know, as a content creator and you are mean for business, I think you do your research well and do the needful or what not to do. But I feel like um, it could be that his password have been shared to a lot of people. You know that he has editors. I mean, it could even be that when you comment on his video, he's not the one yeah. who has been replying. So, yes. Yeah. So when your your accounts or your password have shared to a lot of people, this thing could happen because I think it's got to a point my, my password or my account was using more than four and they sent me a message that it's like it's too much my I, because i was having tablets phone my laptop everybody everything yeah. was connected to one thing and i once got a message that um i i i, I it's risky that i have uh, four gadgets using the same account so that one could also be another issue that people because somebody may log into the account and if he's not logged out really well or something like that and a lot of people have also worked with him and they are no more working with him again. You yes. know, so as at now, we can't really, really say what is really going on. And one thing a lot of people are also asking is that he hasn't made any statements. And 
that one is even giving me some anxiety. You know, you are a very big person. I understand some people, at least, <clears throat> you issue a statement. Because when I went to his um, Twitter handle, there is nothing there. Um, a little clue was given from um, Miss Trudy that a devil is a liar here and he, this and this. You, you, we've come a long way, you know. So it means that they are really working towards it. Or Miss Trudy has even given us some clue that there is something going on with Wadamaya. But at least, at least, you have to respect your fans and give us statements or whatever is going on. At least a lot of people have reached out to you. A lot of big content creators in Ghana. I went to Twitter yesterday and lots of big content creator was tweeting there and they were addressing YouTube as well. So they have to rectify everything. So I'm really hopeful that the channel has already taken down because a lot of people on Twitter was just sending message that they have to look into that. So I think they have to put the channel down for now and, I mean, rectify everything that is going on because that person who has the account is no more using it again. And what am I, So if the person is still using it, then we know that it's really, really hard, you know? And we are content creators, right? Some of us, the yeah. title, sometimes, uh, me, I want something happen. Just, just put your shoe in that person. And... Like, if it were to be me, what will I do? You know, some of the titles we give to the videos we make, in fact, some clickbait, right? Sometimes it's good. Yes. I remember on one of Wadamaya's um, live stream, he was like, you know, too much of clickbait is no good. Sometimes we should know it's not everything that you have to use clickbait. You know, some mega title, uh, Miss Trudy is a gold digger and he has, you know, a whole lot yeah. of things. By the time you open the video and listen to everything, it wasn't like that, you know. It's not everything that we have to use um, clickbait because this thing is his money, it's his life. This guy has been to the university and he said, let me drop my my, my, my certificate and do this thing. So when you, you see titles like that, you'll be freaking out. For me, I'm so sad and I mean, I don't even know what to do. I'm very, very sad. I've reached out to him on Instagram, but he hasn't replied me yet. So I know that he's really working towards it. Me, when my channel got demonetized, trust me, I couldn't tell anybody for yeah, more than... Yeah, very few people more, about it. Yeah, so for I, more I, than... I want to suggest that... Days, um, yeah. yeah. Josie, I want to suggest that um, we are not all the same. Some of us can rant. And some of us are very, very strategic. If you know yeah. Wadamaya as, as a supporter and a viewer, you know this is an intelligent boy. And yeah. this boy will not just come out and start blabbing until he has his facts. He is yeah. busy and he's doing his job. And he's yeah. going to pull out this at the end of the day. Uh, some people also, like you talked about content creators writing titles. I have seen somebody said, Wadamaya sold his channel. I've seen some people said um, Wadamaya uh, is playing a prank. I've seen some people say that uh, Wadamaya has, uh, his wife is a gold digger. These are what we call clickbait. And people are open to opinions about what they want to share on social media. We have another guest in the house, Van Dek Ames. Welcome to the stream. Please uh, share your opinion with us. Let's get to know you and let's get to know what you're doing also. All right. So uh, my name is uh, uh, my name is Van der Kames. I'm from Ghana, and uh, I'm a content creator as well. I create content on tourism culture. Uh, even though I'm okay. an IT specialist, I, I don't do I, I stuff on YouTube. Okay. So okay. <clears throat> quickly, uh, I just want to share some few thoughts. Um, okay. The question of <clears throat> hacking begins with social engineering and there is a type of cyber attack that relies on human interaction and manipulation rather than technical vulnerability. Now, uh, the goal yeah. of social engineering is to trick people to, to indulge into uh, sharing of sensitive information such as password uh, or bank account details and then performing actions that they wouldn't uh, do otherwise. Okay. Uh, social engineering can take many forms. Okay, so the phishing, phishing email or phishing attack is also a form of 
um, social engineering where these emails appear to be from a trust source such as a bank or a, an email provider uh, in this case maybe let's take google as example and then they ask uh, you to provide sensitive information uh, when you click on these links uh, it leads you into fake websites and then um, you, you you become a victim of uh, this hacking and then one other thing is um, uh, impersonation somebody uh, an attacker can pretend to be someone else uh, such as an IC, uh, an IT specialist or technician to uh, gain access into your uh, systems or sensitive information and then we also have baiting baiting uh, the attacker offers something of value such as a free movie download in exchange for uh, a personal information or login credentials so there are a whole lot of social engineering tricks okay now uh, the one common one is sometimes you receive a link on whatsapp or facebook when you click on the link by the time you realize you are logged out of the system uh, I, I don't know what exactly happens with maya but maybe if he comes up if the channel is restored and comes up maybe he may share his testimony with us uh, that we pray for it doesn't happen to anybody so what is so important for us to do as content creators or uh, anybody who see himself on the internet is to protect himself from social engineering attacks so you should be very cautious about providing personal information to anyone especially if uh, they have contacted you unexpected and then also verify the identity of anyone who asks for your information or access your account you don't click on links or download attachments from emails or websites uh, that you don't trust and then most importantly you need to use uh, strong passwords and then unique passwords for your account uh, content creators it is advisable that the email you have to your channel should be different from your access account so that even if the person gets access to your channel the person wouldn't get access to your revenue yes it's very 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 important so as a content creator make sure you use different emails for different things online and then you must also educate yourself or your employers or employees about social engineering attacks and how to recognize and avoid them so with these few things i think uh, you are good to go a friend a friend was also had uh, somewhere last week and uh, looking at the testimony he gave he trusted somebody with the role of uh, managing the channel the person doesn't know how to steal himself on uh, online and then unfortunately unfortunately happened so uh, it's good we protect ourselves as content creators so this is my this is my thoughts on um, how to protect yourself from social engineering okay it's very very important yeah. thank you very much